Hey ladies, I'm popping in to give you an update. I'm a little bit sad today. Well, it's a happy day actually. But I feel a little bit sad. Probably because it's like gloomy out and I don't know, I'm on these pills and I don't know. Anywho, um, my friend had her baby today and I'm really, really excited. You know, after five years of not getting pregnant and we actually started um, the TTC journey together. Like after we got our tests and stuff run from the same clinic, we started it together and um, we, you know, she found out that her husband had a lot of issues with sperm and she had endometriosis and then one blocked tube and it was just crazy. And then when I had IVF, she randomly got pregnant right when I did. So we were pregnant at the same time and obviously you all know that we had the loss. So it's kind of hard because I guess our babies would be similar in age. So, I mean, today was really, really hard and... You know, she texted me this morning and said the baby was born. Of course, I've been waiting to see when he's born, but I didn't. I didn't know that I, I would have such an emotional reaction because I'm always happy for everybody. But like sometimes you just get in your head, like, you know, why did everything happen the way it did? And it just kind of makes me cry a bit. You know, I tried to keep myself together at the desk, and I did. I did keep myself together for the most part, but. It still, like, stings a little bit because, you know, she got her BB and I guess mine is coming, but today it's hard, hard morning. But I'm going to go to the hospital after work and see the baby. I'm really going to try to keep myself together. For the most part, I tend to keep myself together, even if it, I'm having a bad moment. So, I definitely going to try to keep myself together. And also pill's been all right. I've been taking them at night. Thanks, Valerie. Um, and I'm a little bit tired because I've been, I got some personal training at like 5.45 in the morning. So I'm a little bit tired. Um, but I'm working it out, drinking a little green tea. I, my stomach feels a little bloated. I'm like, what? I'm doing all this working out. I need to stop myself from getting on the scale because seriously going to drive me crazy. I also made an appointment for, at my clinic, you have to make an appointment for, what is it, the pre, what they call a pre-med appointment with the fertility counselor, and they talk about your upcoming um, frozen transfer or whatever, so that's on the 21st, and also my deadline, I got my protocol, my deadline to weigh in is, um, January 31st so you know I just always have that in my head it's just mm, always in my head but I'm trying to work it out I'm working with the trainer I have to put some money out you know tracking all my calories on lose it and you know I'm just trying to do right I don't know why the weight's not moving it's so weird I'm literally tracking everything but um just keep me in prayer and I'm just going to try to get through the day. Yeah, pretty much. Thank God I get to leave the office for a visit. So I'm pretty excited about that later on. Okay, but I really am. I just I want everybody to know I am excited for my friend. And I'm excited to see the baby. But I'm still a little emotional. I'm, You know, I didn't know it was going to hit me so hard. But uh, I'm always happy for all of you. All of you. So I just wanted to check in and... Uh, who else could I tell this to? My husband doesn't understand. I can only tell it to you. All of you. And thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, I'm watching your journeys as well. Okay. Bye, everybody. You all have an awesome weekend. And lots of baby dust. And lots of great growing babies in those bellies. Bye, everybody.